hi welcome again to another one of my youtube videos i'm back once again and earlier video i showed how to do a security wipe on the phone and as you can see it's pretty much basic factory standard here but when i went in to double check my information i still had a lot of um pictures videos and voice notes on this phone so when when i did the security wipe and told it to wipe out all the contacts and media it did not wipe that out so i'm going to go back in again pushing the blackberry button and i'm going to go over to the tools the options again and that's um the wrench that shows up and i'm going to go back to security options and the last uh, option on that menu is security wipe so we're going to go into the security wipe again this first one talks about um, emails contacts etc it tells you all your applications will be um, removed also now here's a the second one says user installed applications I'm going to tap that and see what it does and okay so yes that's what I failed to do there's a check mark in that one now that box and I'm going to check the box hopefully you can see that the print is so much smaller it's back to the factory setting and that says media card uh, earlier I did not do the media card and the application the second and the third one I didn't check those options so it wiped out all the contacts the one thing I did notice it still has my um, cell phone number in here so I can I guess I can live with that but then um, I'm gonna go back again and I want to wipe off all the videos and the um, pictures that I have on here and all the voicemails so but again now before you do this make sure you um, hook this up to your computer and transfer all the data off of it and in here you have to put blackberry type in the word blackberry so here we go again I guess they want to make sure this is a sort of a fail safe to make sure you really want to delete that stuff so I typed in the word blackberry in there and then I'm going to come down again and highlight the wipe the word wipe that's what that says and this again will take a minute I want to make sure it's working there it is the hourglass came up and now it's telling me it's going to wipe everything erasing information don't pull the battery out until erasing is complete it says so we're going to try this again like I said the first time uh, on the previous video I showed uh, the same thing except it the only thing I marked was the user contact and because it said something about um, contacts application something something so I just marked that but there are three options in there and so you want to there it is it's working I had quite a few videos and quite a few uh, photos on here I had gotten most of them off I checked the um, files that I had on the computer and I had most of them off so I just double checked and make to make sure I had all of the photos videos and voice notes that I had so when you do the security wipe you want to wipe you want to check all three of those options and that way you only have to do this once and then go through and check the phone to make sure all of your important data has been erased there's enough stuff coming and going and really people can use your information much quicker than you can use your own information so what you want to do is just make sure all your files are off especially the um, you know the sensitive information it some of that information can be sensitive especially if you have um, not just the telephone numbers but the addresses of your contacts in there sometimes um, you also place the birth dates, special dates for these people 
in your phone and you don't want that information getting into the hands of a stranger and it's best that you go in and delete all that information and that's any telephone that you're going to get rid of you're no, no longer going to use the phone you should um transfer the information that red light is showing for some of us that get a little impatient and want to know what's going on so the red light went off the phone's shutting down is what it's doing and then it will reboot much uh, the same way there it is as the computer does when you go in and readjust uh, certain programs when you add them on or take them off it goes back in and reassesses what's there so that's all that's all it's doing now then it's going to uh, come back up it'll wipe out all of your sensitive information usernames passwords contacts their telephone numbers birth dates addresses and other important dates and also the um you don't want your photos and videos it's okay i mean i'm sharing videos um via youtube and sometimes on some of the other social networks but i don't share all of the videos you know what I mean so you don't want all of your stuff out there some stuff you want to um, it's personal family stuff and you want to keep it that way so now the phone is rebooting I like this I really like this because now when you do this you don't have to uh, concern yourself with uh, the information being on the phone maybe the next person will get it and they may not delete it they may use it in some way you don't want that to happen i've um i've purchased um some uh, cameras that had photos on them still and i guess you know people don't at times they don't think to clear that stuff off but it's personal information it's, it's still to me it's personal information and so I like to start with a clean media card and this is the way you do it I think the Blackberry uh, the media card for the Blackberry is built in but you can add a an extra one to it uh, the Blackberries don't take the SIM cards so I didn't have to um, so I had to go in and wipe the information off the phone the other um, I had a rocker phone or something like that. I, I w was with Singular, and they they had the uh, cards, which I enjoyed the cards because you can just go in. You're free to purchase whatever phone you want, and then just change over the card. But with these uh, new pay-as-you-go phones, there's no card in most of them, I believe. So you have to actually purchase a specific type of phone for that carry and then and then um, activate it through them I guess I should have did a video with the pay-as-you-go type phones but that's what it is that's what this one was and uh, they offer the same information or the same services as other people as the other um, phones do without all of the contracts and a much lower cost and what do you know when I call to activate the phone? Who was the carrier for this phone? Hmm. The major carrier that I didn't suspect was the uh, carrier for this phone. And I, it was just, you know, it's packaged and sold as Boost Mobile. But it's, with, it's a Sprint department. So, and there it is. It's coming back up now. There it is. It's doing what it does. It's going to ask me, um going to pull up the uh, setup wizard that's what it does and I'm going to close it because I'm not going to um, add any information on the phone so you can go through there you have it you can go through and check to make sure all your information is off that's the contacts there are no contacts in there and that's what I wanted to make sure of. That's the media. 
and I'm going to just go in while I'm here and check music videos I had a ton no videos so it was a, it was a clean wipe so remember when you do the wipe check all three boxes under the security wipe section and thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my YouTube videos